Hello everybody, welcome back to the 3D Critic channel. I'm David, your host, and today I'm going to give you guys the best shoes when it comes to overall lockdown, as well as support. And when it comes to lockdown, I like a shoe that is really nice and contained inside the footbed, that way you won't experience any movement inside the shoe, with little to no heel slippage whatsoever inside the shoe as well. And when it comes to support, I like a nice stable ride under my foot, with really good torsional support and really good lateral stability when it comes to the overall materials as well as any uh, plastic supporters that are included in the shoe itself with a really good TPU heel counter in the heel that way you won't experience any heel slippage uh, going from side to side inside the shoe. Now starting off this list at number 10, I have the Way of Wade 808 3s which was really good when it came to lockdown. I found it to be really nice and uh, snug inside the shoe and you didn't experience any movement inside the shoe when it came to the forefoot and the midfoot. In the heel, there is a little bit of heel slippage, but it was uh, nothing major of the sort. So it was pretty good when it came to the overall lockdown. When it came to support, it was really nice and really wide when it came to the base and you get a really nice protruding outrigger that helps with the overall lateral support with a plastic piece that wraps up to the material that way it helps with the overall lateral stability as well. And when you get to uh, torsional support, you do get a built-in Pro Bar shank plate from the drop in midsole that gives it really good stability overall. However, in the back half of the shoe, I found it to be a little unstable when it came to how narrow the shoe uh, gets in the back of the heel. So that was my only main concern with a little instability in the back side of the shoe. But you do get an internal TPU heel counter. That way you won't experience any heel movement inside the shoe as well. Now coming in at number nine, I have the New Balance 2 Wave V3s, which I found to be really nice and uh, locked down pretty much uh, at all times in the shoe. With the materials, you get a nice and conformed feel inside the shoe. That way you won't experience uh, any movement inside and the footbed itself. I didn't experience any movement as such with a little bit of movement when it came to uh, hard stops you do uh, slide inside the shoe a little bit but it was nothing major and when it came to uh, heel slippage there was little to none from what I've experienced in the two way v3s and when it came to support it has really good uh, stability overall when it comes to the nice base that you have there is a missile bulge but not really like an outrigger that uh, gives you really good lateral support with a plastic um, midfoot uh, support piece in the midfoot that way you won't uh, uh, lose balance and uh, lateral uh, stability overall in that shoe and the overall torsional support was pretty good you do get a built-in TPU shank that helps with the overall torsional support and it gives you really good balance inside the shoe and in the heel it gives you a basic TPU heel counter that way you won't experience any heel movement inside the shoe as well. Moving into number eight, I have the Adidas VYW Selects. And when it came to the lockdown, it was overall pretty good in my opinion. When it came to the forefoot, there was a little bit of movement when it came to uh, sliding inside the shoe because the fit itself runs a little long in my opinion. But in the midfoot, you don't experience any movement and in the back, it is really beefy and you don't experience any heel slippage whatsoever in that front and when it came to the overall support you get a nice wide base and you get a really thick midsole bulge that gives you really good lateral stability and the midsole wraps up to the materials that way you won't have any instabilities inside the shoe and you also get a really beefy shank plate that is full length and it gives you really good uh, torsional support with really good balance inside the shoe and you get a basic TPU heel counter that helps prevent the heel from moving side to side inside the shoe. So the support was phenomenal on this and the lockdown was adequate for the most part. Moving into number seven, I have the Puma Rise Nitros, which were really locked into place when it came to the forefoot and the midfoot with the really nice tight snug fit that you get. You won't experience any movement in the footbed, especially in the forefoot and midfoot. In the heel, there is a little to no heel slippage from what I have experienced. So it was overall pretty good when it came to the lockdown 
in the Rise Nitros. When it came to support, it gives you a nice stable ride under your foot and you get a X-Bar Pro plate that is bottom loaded that helps with the overall uh, torsional support and you're pretty balanced in this shoe. When it came to lateral support, you get a foam uh, piece that goes up to the material that helps with the overall lateral stability. But the overall shape of the shoe is a little narrow. So there are some slight instances where I did roll my ankle a little bit, but it was overall holding up pretty well when it came to the support. And it was really nice overall with the exception of a little ankle rolls here and there. Coming in at number six, I have the LeBron 20s, which was really good when it came to the lockdown, especially in the forefoot and midfoot with the nice snug fit that you have. You won't experience any movement in the footbed because of that. However, in the heel, I found that there was uh, some heel slippage from time to time when I was playing in these. So make sure you uh, wrap up the uh, midfoot really well. That way you won't experience that much heel slippage. It wasn't anything serious, but it was overall really good when it came to the overall lockdown in the 20s. When it came to support, it was surprisingly good with what you get. The uh, wide stable base that you have gives you a nice stable ride with the carbon fiber shank that gives you good torsional support as well as really good stabilization inside the shoe. And the overall uh, lateral stability, you do have a little outrigger with a guardrail that helps with the overall lateral support. And in the heel, it gives you a nice TPU heel counter. That way you won't experience any heel movement inside the shoe as well. At number five, I have the Way of Wade Son of Flash, which was really good when it came to the lockdown, in my opinion. In the forefoot, there was a little bit of movement when it came to the overall fit. It does run a little long, but it is uh, holding up pretty well, and I didn't experience any uh, movement inside the footbed because of that. And the same thing goes with the midfoot as well. You do uh, not get any movement at all inside the shoe. And in the heel, the lockdown was really nice and I didn't experience any heel slippage because of how the uh, heel is structured. It literally cups the heel at the place. That way you won't move inside of the heel uh, at all times. So it was pretty good when it came to heel lockdown. When it came to the support, it was really supportive in my opinion. It gave you a nice wide base and it gives you a really nice rounded bulge. That way you have really nice lateral stability and the iridescent uh, lightning bolt that you get in the midfoot helps with the overall lateral support as well. You get a really beefy TPU shank that helps with the overall torsional support and it is really balanced inside the shoe. And in the heel, it has a really nice TPU heel counter. That way you won't experience any heel movement inside the shoe as well. Now, when it comes to number four, I was actually surprised at how good the lockdown was as well as the support. And that was the Luca ones. When it came to the overall lockdown, the fit in the forefoot and the midfoot was really nice and it conformed to my foot really well. And because of that, you don't experience any movement inside the shoe. When it came to the heel, uh to combat the heel slippage that you get initially it has a runner's knot that way you have additional support from the midfoot and as a result i didn't experience any heel slippage whatsoever so it was overall pretty good when it came to lockdown and i was inside the shoe at all times the support also was really nice you do get a nice wide base with really good stability from the um plate that you get in here it gives you really nice stability and the uh, support that you get from the plate wraps up to the material a little bit that way you get really nice lateral support as well so i was overall pretty surprised by the luca ones when it came to the lockdown and support and it was really good and really solid under my foot at all times now moving into number three, I have the Way of Wade 808 3 Ultras, which was really nice when it came to the lockdown. The forefoot was really nice and conformed, that way it won't move around in the forefoot. And in the midfoot, it was really nice and snug as well. And you get additional uh, lockdown with the grooves that you get on the drop in midsole. It sticks to the sack, that way you won't experience any movement inside the shoe. And in the heel, there is little a little heel slippage, but it wasn't any 
anything crazy. So it was overall pretty good when it came to the lockdown from top to, from the front to the back. So it was really good overall when it came to the lockdown. Support was really good as well. You get a nice wide base in the forefoot with a protruding outrigger and you do get some support from the uh, plastic pieces that you get from the material itself gives it a really nice and uh, containing feel at all times and you get a built-in uh, tpu shank that helps with the overall torsional support as well so it was pretty balanced inside the shoe as well and in the back you do get a an external and internal tpu heel counter that uh locks the heel into place really well and you don't experience any instabilities in the heel compared to the instability that i experienced in the regular 8083 so it was overall pretty good when it came to lockdown and it was really beefy and supportive at all times when i was playing in the 8083 ultras now moving into number two i have the lebron 21s which was really good when it came to the lockdown with the narrow feel that you get initially in this you don't experience any movement in the forefoot and when you get to the midfoot it is really nice and containing overall with the overall uh containing support pieces that you have with the flywire shroud that you have and it was really nice and hunkered down at all times on the midfoot and in the heel because of how hunkered down you are on the forefoot and midfoot it translates to really good lockdown in the heel and you don't experience any heel slippage whatsoever when you are playing in these and when it came to support it was really supportive you get a nice wide base and you have a top loaded tpu shank that gives you really good torsional support and you pretty much get the same tooling when it comes to the overall lateral support with the protruding outrigger that you have as well as the guardrail that you get that encapsulates the forefoot and in the heel you do get a guardrail in the heel compared to the lebron 20 so it was overall pretty beefy in the heel and the internal tpu heel counter was the stiffest that i have tried so far but it contained the heel really well and i really enjoyed how nice it was when it came to the overall support and the lockdown was phenomenal on top of that now, before I reveal the best shoe when it comes to lockdown and support, I do have a couple of honorable mentions that I would like to point out. One being the Jordan 38s, which was really good when it came to the lockdown. However, in the forefoot, because of the fit, it does run a little long and you do tend to slide a little forward in the shoe because of that. So it was a little uh, iffy when it came to the forefoot lockdown. The midfoot was pretty nice and containing and you don't experience any movement as well as the high uh, ankle collar that you get from the overall build of the 38s. You won't experience any uh, heel slippage uh, in that case, but the overall lockdown in the forefoot was a little iffy with a little movement that you get inside the shoe with hard stops especially so it was iffy in that front however when it came to the support it was really nice in my opinion with the x bar you get really nice torsional support and you get a nice wide base with protruding outriggers as well so it was overall pretty good and the x bar extended up to the material in the midfoot and it was really uh, supportive and stable inside the shoe and in the heel you also get a tpu heel counter that helps the heel be pre moving, prevent the heel from moving side to side in that respect and i also have the new balance two-way v4s which was really good when it came to lockdown aside from the forefoot and a little bit in the heel when it came to the forefoot because of the fit you do move a little bit inside the footbed the midfoot is nice and containing and in the heel there is a little bit of heel slippage from what i have experienced so it was overall pretty decent when it came to the lockdown but the support was really nice overall. You get a really wide base with a protruding outrigger as well. And you won't experience any instabilities with the top loaded TPU shank that you have. It was overall really nice and supportive and really stable at all times. And you get a basic TPU heel counter in the heel that helped prevent the heel from moving side to side inside the shoe. And when it comes to the best shoe, when it comes to overall lockdown and support, in my opinion, 
was the way of weight 10 lows which was phenomenal when it came to the overall lockdown with the one to one fit that you have in the forefoot you don't experience any movement in the forefoot and when you get to the midfoot it is nice and wrapped and contained at all times once you lace them up and in the heel it has that suction cup like feel that you get in the heel and it had no heel slippers whatsoever uh, from what I have experienced so far and it is the low top version so if you have the regular version it is pretty much a really uh, hunkered down feel overall and when it came to the support the support was no exception as well you have a really nice wide base and a protruding outrigger that helps with the overall lateral stability and you get the plastic support piece that goes all the way to the back to the heel and it gives you really nice lateral stability overall and the bottom loaded carbon fiber shank that you have was really nice and it was really balanced inside the shoe at all times and i really enjoyed how hunkered down and supportive these were and in the heel it has a beefy tpu heel counter that way you won't move around in the heel especially so it was overall really hunkered down and really supportive on top of that and it was the best shoe overall when it came to lockdown and support in my opinion thank you guys for watching this video leave a like if you enjoyed it comment down below on what you think of this list and what you think is the best shoe overall when it comes to the lockdown and the support and as well as any other questions feel free to comment down below as well if you like to stay up to date with any future videos that i'll be posting at the end of the year i will reveal the best shoes that i've tried so far this year so if you want to stay tuned to that hit the subscribe button down below and it'll greatly support the channel as well and if you want to stay in touch with me via social media i will leave all of that information in the description box as well as links to all the shoes that i have mentioned i will leave links to the reviews of the shoes that i have mentioned in the description box below as well if you guys are interested in the reviews I hope you guys enjoyed the rest of the day. I hope this was beneficial for you guys on choosing the best overall shoe when it comes to lockdown and support. And until next time, keep shooting.